Cause I know niggas fucking plotting, they been praying that I fall, but they never gonna stop me on my soul. Yeah, that's on everything I love, from my mama to these drugs to whatever's up above, yeah. So don't be scared to go back if you get treated like that. I understand that this is a hard job. I understand that this is that this is not easy being in the fast food industry and I have the utmost respect for the people because I've been treated really well too but at the same time it doesn't give them just because their job is hard doesn't mean that everyone else's job isn't hard right yeah. and it doesn't give them the right to treat you like that so just wanted to bring you this recording I was using coupons at this winter central location and this manager was totally being super rude and uh being super mean to Crystal and I I don't really know what his deal was you know but he was being like completely bizarre and um, calling us homie and I don't know what. And I kind of went off on him and said I was from corporate and just to just piss him off because it was just utter disrespect. But there's a good lesson to be learned at the end of this video. So make sure you guys watch to the end. Um, you know, it's it's a lesson in the game. You know, uh, just because you go somewhere doesn't mean, you know, to eat doesn't mean you can be disrespected at the same time. You know what I mean? But watch to the end, guys. Peace. <laughs> Could I get you to say what you said earlier? <laughs> Could I get you to say what you said earlier to me? Well, what what you say? You know I'm a secret shopper from corporate. Did you know that? I'm gonna no, send this over to the corporate yeah, division. I, I told you. Yeah, but I'm a secret shopper from no, corporate. No, then. What you called me, homie? You don't even know who I am. In your friendly though. Huh? I I call you friend. Yeah. Okay. Well, so you have a good day, and I will be reporting you to corporate headquarters. Thank you. There, there is a I know you saw that clip right now, so you're probably wondering what's going on. I'm gonna let you know what happened. Here you go. We got. We got, um, let me roll the window. We got Wiener Snitch of the day. Let's roll it up a little bit. Yo. <laughs> it is amazing. I don't even think he gave us a fork. Did he give us fork? Yeah, he gave us a fork. It was amazing what just happened, but let, right let me get a quick thumbnail real quick for the thumbnail game. I think they forgot one of our chili shoe dogs. It's supposed to be three, huh? It's supposed to be three. Guys, so, yo, we went to Wiener Center, right? Okay. <laughs> mm. And I had a coupon, right? Can they see you a bit? Yeah. And I had a coupon. I don't know if you guys know about Wiener Center. They have a coupon where it's like a uh, four ninety nine for um. For a chili cheese fries, mm -hmm. chili cheese dog, and chili burger. Um, chili burger. This is this is so crazy right now. Every time I get that coupon, since these have come out, which are the large chili cheese fries, I've gotten, uh, I've substituted the chili cheese fries, which, which are these, okay, for the large. Well, no problem. You just pay the difference. So the guy was an Oriental owner, and um, and when I told him that, he, they said they couldn't do it. Thing is, excuse me, I've done it before at this location twice already. So I, he told me couldn't do it. So I just asked him politely, what's the reason you can't do it? He started to go in this like gancher and grab her about I don't know what and yada, yada, yada. And I was just like, I'll just pay the difference, right? Cause these alone are like six, five bucks. Okay. So everything was fine, right? So I asked him and I said, um, do you mind if you put extra uh, uh, fries in my thing? And I guess he got all upset, right? So, oh wow, this is really fresh right here. Check this out guys. Look at that, chili cheese dog, chili cheese burger. Oh wow. Mm. Super delicious. So. I guess the guy got upset, or I don't know what. But he was making all kinds of faces, and it was, this is the owner we're talking about. You just saw. I've never, this has never happened to me in my life, in fast food, ever, okay? I wish I would've got it on camera. It would've been amazing. But, he came up to the car, handed me these in a separate bag by himself, Walked up to the 
walked up to the car, okay, and said, what did he say? Here you go, homie. Yeah. He's like, is that fine, homie? Is, is that fine, homie? But, like, with the mo with the horrible attitude, guys. <laughs> it was so hilarious because just coming from him being, like, you know, yeah, Asian. An older Orient, man, yeah. An Asian. This guy's probably in his 60s, okay? I was like, what? Crystal just looked at me, and I just looked at her. And I was like, wow. I started cracking up. She could not stop laughing. She's like, oh my god, you should have got that on camera. That would have been that would have been priceless. Yeah. So I laughed for a while. And then it got me kind of pissed off. Because what's your idea? Besides the laugh, what do you think about that? Um I don't know. I just, I honestly, I, I didn't, I don't, I don't find it really too upsetting. I think it's just funny if anything. Really? Yeah. Especially because being in the area that was where we're in, we got the food. Where's the chili cheese dog at? Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> this man probably sees it all, hears it all, so, you know, he doesn't take no BS. Probably sees it all, hears it all, but day. <laughs> yeah, I didn't expect that, you guys. That it was, was like, hilarious, bro. It was hilarious. It was like, what the hell? I looked at him when we both looked at each other. We paused for a second. And he was like, did he really say that? Did he just say it? And I was like, yeah, he did. Because you I wouldn't expect that from him. Man. I, got, I sure got him scared, though, guys. He walked into the car and said, is this, is this fine, homie? Or is that good enough, homie? What did he say? Yeah, I think he said, is that good enough, homie? Mm -hmm. Guys, that was hilarious, though. Oh, my God. I truly wish you could have heard that. Mm -hmm. You like it? I bet she doesn't even like winter sexual. I'm super hungry, you guys. And to top it off, guess what, guys? To top it off, he he gave he gave us a chili dog short. Yeah. And I, and I can tell you right now, I believe that's purposely. You think so? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. I thought we should have checked before we left, but we're just like tripped out. More than tripped out. Where's the water ticket? I was cracking up. Let me get the water ticket. Guys. <laughs> that was hilarious. I have never experienced nothing like that. <laughs> Are we gonna go back? Nah. Hmm? You wanna go back? I'm not really like tripping, tripping about it. Not really, but kind of just to get him pissed off more. Because honestly, I didn't, do, I didn't do nothing to him. He got upset on his own, right? No. Mm -hmm. What do you think? <laughs> so funny. <laughs> oh my god, bro. Mm. Mm. You want to open the car with The window? Yeah. Mm. Wow. What would you have done? Leave in the comments below. If you watch into this point right now, I want you to write hashtag homie. Yeah. <laughs> and give me your opinion. Put your hashtag and give me your opinion. I will be reading every opinion. What would you have done? And would you find it offensive? What would you have done? And would you find it offensive? I thought it was funny, but I know not everybody would, would have thought it was funny. Some people would have probably flipped out. Yeah. Yeah, that's true.
I think a lot of people would have probably flipped out, but I don't know. I guess it's just, it probably I think has a lot to do with the area. Because, wow. I don't think that excuses it, though, Chris. No, it doesn't excuse it, but I'm just saying, like, you know, he's probably, you know, I don't know. And he's just probably like, nah. You think so? Yeah, he's probably like, nah. <laughs> you ain't gonna do that to me, homie. <laughs> but I didn't do anything. I know, but he's in his head, like, no, you're not gonna try to play me. You really think? Yeah. I really think that. I really think that. He probably thinks, like, he thinks that way. I don't know, you guys. It was just hilarious, though. <laughs> it was funny. Oh, um, God. That was, like, the first, you guys. And we've been out to a lot of places. Yeah. That's yeah, the first. As you can there. tell. Yeah. And we just church in church for everything. Like we asked for oh, water cups, you guys. I asked for a cup just for to put my pour my water that you saw right now. <laughs> He's like, 49 cents for a cup. And I'm like, okay, never mind. I asked for ranch, 80 cents for ranch. Like, yeah. Like, come on, man. Like, what the heck? I think they charge for everything, man. Like, it's just like that ridiculous. dude charges for everything. Yeah. I don't know if it's just that place in particular or that location or is it all, but that's like funny, you guys. Honestly, we should go back and to get our dog because we short, he technically he shorted us. He te even if we're not going to eat it, we should just the principle in the fact that he shorted us. Mm -hmm. But I don't know what it's going to be like going back right now. Maybe I should get that on camera. I should go back and extend this. People will probably want to see it. All right, so we're pulling up right now. <laughs> we're pulling up into the drive-thru. It's kind of cold. cold. Yeah. Just roll up and just go to the, straight to the window. Mm -hmm. Let me see if I can get the actual, if you don't get it, if you'll get that on camera. Yeah, roll, roll your window down. Mm. Hi. Hi, I checked. Hi, they, they short, uh, he didn't give us a chili cheese dog. He yeah. shorted us. Yeah, there was one missing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Okay, so it looks like everything's gonna be cool this time, guys. Hopefully, I, I should probably watch him making it or something. I don't feel bad doing this just because I was treated like absolute crap. So you might think I'm, I'm kind of a being a butt, but if you're treated like that, if you're treated like this, if you're treated like this, in an, you should not be treated like this as a customer. You know what I mean? Ah, oh, Crystal. Yeah. You really shouldn't. There's no excuse for this, guys, honestly. If I could have recorded the way he was talking to me and got all of that on film, then you would probably, you would say this is totally justified. But let's see how he acts when he comes up to the window. <laughs> I'll give a free drink instead. Okay. All the way there, all the way there, all the way there. Okay. What kind of soda do you want? Um, we'll take a, a Coke. A Pepsi. A Pepsi, that's fine, thank you. Well, wow, that's like night and day, huh? Yeah. That is so night and day, guys. To show you a point that he knows he's wrong from the way he treated me. And I just, it's just, this is just, this is a really good time. This is a good, um, learning experience right mm -hmm. did you see how he talked to us was he talking to us like that before mm -mm. it was completely horrific mm -hmm. right yeah so just to show you guys that it's don't be scared to go back if someone's rude to you or someone treats you like dung don't be scared to go back because look at the customer service he's providing now okay thank, thank you you have a good night thank right. you okay, okay. So, just to show you the type of customer service he's providing now you get what i mean guys so don't be scared to go back if you get treated like that i understand that this is a hard job i understand that this is that this is not easy being in the fast food industry and i have the utmost respect for the people because i've been treated really well too but at the same time it doesn't give them just because their job is hard doesn't mean that everyone else's job isn't hard right yeah. and it doesn't give them the right to treat it's a complete change of attitude and everything right crystal isn't it night and day? He gave us a large drink. Give us a large drink for the inconvenience. Just to show you guys, you don't be scared to go back and do what's right. I will be treated with respect and dignity as customers. Remember, we're providing our money for them. We're providing our money to them, guys. 
okay? So, um, yeah, this is uh, just a lesson to be learned for a lot of us. Don't be scared to go back. Thank you so much for tuning into the video. What a, what a change of events from the owner. I have more respect for him now mm -hmm. than I did 10 minutes ago, okay? Because I, I wish I would have got everything on camera from how he was acting. But till next time, it's your boy Tasty Motive, and we're out of here. Say bye. Oh, they Peace. can see me? Yes. They can see me, really? Bye. Bye. Bye.